Having Severino at his best could totally change the complexion of the Mets rotation, and that's obviously certainly the goal. But uh, how would a bounce back from him change your outlook for the team? Uh, it would boost my uh, win expectation for them quite uh, significantly, Michelle. Uh, it's pretty much low 80s right now. I know that may, might not make Met fans happy, but I think if Severino regains his full powers, then we can talk, start talking more seriously about the mid 80s for them and potential contention. Uh, look, I mean, he's only 30 years old, right? And and there's a lot in there. We haven't seen it very often recently. I mean, he had a sort of a decent uh, 22 season when he was able to pitch, only 19 starts, but it was good. You know, last year he. He retained fastball velocity, was still throwing 96 miles an hour, but he gave up a 680 slugging percentage against his fastball, which is unbelievable. I mean, Shohei Otani led the majors at 654, so that's what we're talking about here. This, that's like a Babe Ruth-like uh, slugging percentage that Severino was giving up. So there's a hill to climb. You know, he hasn't shown health, but uh, look, there's a tremendous amount of talent in that guy, and, and I'm, I'm hopeful for a bounce back for him because he's a heck of a pitcher when he's right. So you need... You know, there's five rotation spots, although most teams these days, they like to go with a six-man rotation, and then you need more than that, certainly, to get you through the whole year. Last year, teams on average used 13 starters, and I think if Severino is really good, then they'll have one of those 13 spots taken care of. I mean, that's sort of the problem here, is this is not to just constantly harp on how I wish they would go out and get one more pitcher, but I wish they would go out and get one more pitcher because you're right. They're certainly hoping for Severino to be his old self, and he looked it. And of course, only two innings and in spring training. But I really liked this signing for the Mets. I thought, like, okay, yeah, you know, let's see what he can do. Maybe it breaks right. Brett Severino said following his outing that he does feel a little bit more pressure with Kodai Senga starting the season on the IL. So, what makes Severino equipped to slot up a little higher in the rotation? Well, I think a lot of things, guys. I mean, you look at this guy, first and foremost, he's pitched in New York before. He knows that it's a different beast. He knows there's a spotlight and that he's going to be on the back page. And, you know, the headlines are going to be all cute when he struggles. And there's going to be tons of media at his locker. So all of that, all of those question marks, which can really make or break how a guy performs, you know, those have largely been solved. He knows what he was getting into. When you look at the market for a guy like Severino, it was really robust. There were so many teams that were interested in him on a one-year deal because of what Hannah was just talking about, because they feel like he is poised to have a, you know, breakout year. I have this guy as maybe a potential comeback of the year. I mean, the stuff is there. It's all about, as you heard, not tipping pitches and staying healthy. So I think he can respond to the pressure of not having a guy like Senga. They need an ace. They need somebody to step up where teams say, oh, we really have to prepare for this guy. This is going to be really tough if he's on. They don't have that right now. And there's no question in my mind from a pure stuff perspective that the guy with the best stuff that's on the team right now that's healthy is Severino. So they really need him to take this pressure and turn it into something and use it as extra motivation to be the guy. There weren't many other teams interested in him where he was going to potentially be the ace of the staff he has that opportunity with the Mets. They have to hope now that he seizes it.